So it's me or boy Kay Samson. I have something for us. So if you have not been involved in this word that I'm about to say, and maybe it will be a confirmation to you that you have already experienced what I'm about to say. Listen, they think that you have automatically forget what they did to you in the past. You know, sometimes when some people hurt you severely, they will take some years, some months, some weeks, they will take many, maybe two years, three years, four years, till they, still, they do or they come back to you. And within them, they will be thinking that you have already forget everything that they did to you. But let's be real. Let us be real. How many years do you think that Joseph was sold and before his brothers come back to Egypt to buy what something? I'm sure it, it let me say it, it will be up to five years <clears throat> or ten years if, if we can just think about it. So sometimes you can't forget what someone did to you. You can't. But you will forgive them, but you can't forget the pain. <laughs> they were thinking that we forget everything that they did to us. Now they'll be calling us brothers and sisters. <laughs> you, you, you lead me to a point where I'm supposed to be a dead man. And now you are coming back to me because you see something is going on around me. You see that God has clothed me a cloth of what? A cloth of uniqueness, a cloth of greatness, and success is around me. And now you are thinking that I have forgot everything that you did to me. My brother, pain <coughs> is what is unforgettable. Pain is what unforgettable. Forget about people who said we have forget everything you, are, you have done to us. No. Nobody for nobody in this world that can forget the pain that they pass through, that someone caused them. No, we can forgive, but we don't forget it. Forget about people who, who quote all manners of scriptures. No one will do it. We forget it because that is what made them what become strong. That is what made them strong every day. So if someone tell you that they have already forget everything you did to them they have already forget it no they will still remember it one day so you some people will come into your life thinking that you have forget everything thinking that you don't have that memory <laughs> no it doesn't exist in that way we may forgive you but we can't forget it you come saying so if you are coming into my life after you have hurt me don't expect me to forget it. It is better you don't come back. Yes. Oh, look. So, wh what am I trying to say is this? <laughs> Some of them will say, ah, let's go back now. It has been many years. I'm sure he has forget everything. He, uh, I, I thought that he, he, he can't have that memory in his life. <laughs> he has forget everything now. Let's go back and beg him. So, uh, 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 even the Bible said, forgive and forget. Even the Bible said, forgive your enemy and do what? And, and just, why do you think that David, Joseph, still remember, to his, still remember everything that his brother did to him? And he said to them, what you did for evil, God have done, what, have done it for my own good. So what am I trying to say is this? People, they'll be thinking, you know, yeah, forget everything. Because they see that something good is around you. Because they see that you are doing well. Because they see that God is blessing you. Because they see that God is doing wonders. Because they see that God is taking you to another level. Because they see that there's something in you that they need now. And that's why they'll be telling you, eh, 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 they'll, be, they'll be having that mindset. Eh, oh, okay, do you think oh, 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 this guy will, be, will, will recall everything again after two years, after three years, after four years, five years? Eh, le, let's go back. He will accept us the way we are. He will accept, accept you the way you are? Like, like seriously. <laughs> eh, let's go back. Yes, we will forgive you. We don't have that mindset. That we hate you again. But the real truth is that we can't forget what you do, what, what you did to us. We can't. 
As for me, I can't forget what I passed through in 2019. Yes, I say so. 17, 18, 19, I can't forget it. Even till what, even in the grave, I won't forget it. But I have forgiven them. That is just the far truth. So the reason why I am not going to forget it is because one day, if I see someone who did that, who is who is about to did, who is who is preparing to do the same thing, then I will just recall that this is something that someone have already what done to me. This is something that someone have already what did. So so that I will do what I will preserve myself. From not letting that affliction to happen again. Because the Bible said affliction will not rise for the second time. It's not only disease. It's not only enemy. So that they will not come back and repeat the same mistake. You got to see? Because the first one is what is a mistake. The second one is just like I'm stupid. That is the reason why I, I will not forget it. I have forgiven you. That is just the fact truth. So what am I trying to say is this. Most of them will be thinking that you have already what forget everything. And now that they are seeing good things, that they will come and you will accept them. Yes, we will accept you. But two things are involved. Are you ready to be accepted in distance? <laughs> hey, so that is just it. Are you ready to be accepted in distance? Are you ready to be accepted in distance? So if you are ready, you are welcome. If you are not ready, you are free to go. <laughs> After you have heard us, eh, that's good, man. Eh? He will accept us the way we are. Eh, you know, said the Bible said, forgive and you shall be forgiven. Don't hold any grudges. Don't hold this one against any, any this one. We don't hold grudges. Yes, we don't hold grudges. We are not holding any grudges in us. But that pain is what we make us to do, to defend ourselves from people like you. Because you, you people are multitudes out there. We know them. We know them. So because of the way you come into our life, we, you have gained our trust and you use it against us. So that is the process, the same way we, we used to discover your, your co-friends, your co-workers, because you people are what are, are, what are, are, are business partners. So whenever we see someone like you, we will identify them by their fruit. Because that is what the Bible says, by their fruit we shall know them. So if we forget, if we forget the pain you make us to pass through, how can we identify you by your fruit? <laughs> so we keep it within us, but we don't have anything against you. The reason why we do it, we, re, we, we try to do it, to keep it, is because it will be a memory to us that this is something someone have already made us to pass through. And with this, we can identify them when they still do what arrive. <laughs> because the Bible says you people are running around like, like what? Like a rolling lion. So whenever you another one still come, we will identify them. <laughs> Generation of what? Rolling lion. <laughs> so, so this is all I have for you, brothers. So we don't forget them. We don't. So if you are still coming to our Lord thinking that we are forget everything that you did to us. No. We are forgiving you. That one is apart, but we can't forget it. <laughs> but then I say, e, you are forgetting it now. Uh, that success is, we, we know that you are doing well now. So God that blessed you, we do it. We allow you for us to attend that blessing. God is with you, says Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God is with you. Yes, God is with us. <laughs> God is never against us. Even when you are doing all these things, to us, even when you are doing all those things to us, betraying us, frustrating us, plotting evil against us, God is still with us. So the blessing you are seeing now are the reason why God allow all those things to come. So that you will bear witness that this is what we go through in your hand. So that when people are saying that this blessing we didn't get it with stress, we didn't we didn't pass through pain to get this pain, you will be the one that will testify. <laughs> Testimony testifies. They will be the one that will testify that it that that it is the Lord that doed it and it is marvelous in our eyes. <laughs> you can see when God is about to bless you, He will use some certain people. To cause some certain what asunders that they will not discover when you are about to be blessed, so that they will not put asunder with it. So remember, <laughs> we don't forget it. 
whether you think or you don't think, or you like, you don't like, we don't forget it. It's still in our memory. That is the reason why you must be careful whom you do it, whom you betrayed, whom you caused pain, whom you try to frustrate. Because if they try, if, if they get to that point where they become successful and turn against you to teach you a lesson that you will teach your children, children, it will become what unforgettable. Let's be careful how we treat others. Because if they turn against you, you have a memory a lesson that you teach your children children believe me so remain blessed and be blessed and may god bless you and may god protect us from this type of people i know what i passed through that is the reason why i decide to share this <laughs> i know what i passed through when i mean i go through her i go through her right on earth so remain blessed may god bless you and may god see you through in jesus name amen